Hi guys, today we're gonna make chocolate lava cake. Doesn't that sound like an exciting dessert? You're gonna need a cup of chocolate chips and a stick of butter. We're gonna melt these together. And we're also going to need four eggs, but not all of the eggs. And a quarter cup of sugar and a teaspoon of vanilla. We're gonna beat these together until they're thick in the mixer. So when I said we don't need all of the eggs, what I meant is we only need two whole eggs and two egg yolks. I'll break everything into here. Can my eggs running away, guys? All right, got my eggs curled. You get to watch me separate an egg. This is always fun. So I open it up like a box, take the top off, let the whites just sort of flow into my bowl and then plop it back and forth till all the whites come off. This egg is kind of fresh. It has a nice clingy white. There we go. Save the yolk for a recipe. I'm going to save the whites too. I'm going to put them in the freezer. All sorts of things you can do with egg whites once you've saved up enough of them. Like an angel food cake. Mm. There we go. Two eggs, two egg yolks. This we're gonna freeze and do something different and yummy with it. The sugar, the vanilla, I'm going to beat it all up. Now we're going to pour the melted butter and chocolate into the beaten eggs and sugar and vanilla, nice and foamy on top. And I'm going to fold them together. And I got this recipe out of the Donut Fix. This book was so good. I think I read it in two days. Um, it might be for ages 8 to 12, and I'm definitely not too old for it. So, the lava cakes. This recipe is how the main character earned the secret donut recipe from the owner of the general store. See, you definitely want to read this book. Although I'm giving you a sneak preview of the recipes from the back. Okay, one more ingredient. It's only two tablespoons of flour. That doesn't seem like a lot. And I suspect that might be the secret of the lava. We'll see. I'm not really a scientist. I'm more like a baker and an experimenter and book reader. All right, we're folding, which means not beating wildly. We want to keep the foam that we achieved with beating our eggs, and now we don't want to beat the air out of the eggs. So we're going around the outside, and then we scoop across the bottom and we fold. That's pretty watery, so it's not really so much folding as it is a very gentle stirring. And once I don't see any more white flour on top, I'm going to pour it into my little greased bowls. They're Pyrex bowls, so they can go in the oven. All right, here is finished batter. It looks like this. And here's my greased bowls. And they're on a cookie sheet because they're just gonna tip all over the place if I try to put them in the oven like that, aren't they? don't look quite even, do they? Got to even these out a little bit. Pretty close, pretty close. 
All right, got to go back to my recipe here. 450 degrees for 8 to 12 minutes. And we will see if these work. I love a dessert with drama, don't you? Okay, left it in the oven for 12 minutes, and then I let it sit for one minute. It's still wicked hot. I'm not going to touch it with my hands, but I am going to just wiggle a butter knife around the edge. I think this is going to increase my odds of success. And then we're going to put the saucer on top. And then we're going to precariously grab the whole thing and flip it over. We'll use a butter knife and a pot holder to flip off the glass. Okay, it looks pretty awesome, right? Let's see if it's molten on the inside. Oh yeah, look at this. Pretty cool, huh? You want to try it, don't you? And you also want to read The Donut Fix by Jesse Chandler. And the sequel was really good too, The Donut King. And this looks pretty good also. I'll see you guys soon at the library.